this trip wasn't perfect in any means. I think it was different than expected, but that's like true of every trip. You never really know what you're gonna get. What I think is so powerful about being uncomfortable, like at some point you can't put on some facade. Your true colors show. What does it mean to have a successful trip? My definition of success is when I feel like I have met the standard that I set for myself and coming out on the other side feeling like there was growth. Here we go. We, we made, made it. it. We made it. Setting up camp, moving all our stuff. So on my team, I've got Lonnie Brunts and Maddie Crow. This is the first time I've been in Alaska to ski and I know that I will learn so much. Just sort of open and ready to take in the whole experience. Mally, Lonnie, and I have been planning this trip since October, so it's been over six months of planning. We have 10 days of skiing planned, and then we're doing a base camp style trip, so we'll be in one place for the whole time and just doing tours from camp and try and just go ski some Alaska lines. Alaska is one of those places that as a skier you're just introduced to so early on but to me it always felt so big and so intimidating and it wasn't until I found the two of them where we share this skill set, we share this passion, we all want to push ourselves in so many different ways that I imagine it's going to allow us to embark on this challenge of figuring it all out on our own. I'm psyched. This is what I've always wanted is, you know, those good days in the mountains mm -hmm. and you're just like, yes, this is why I do it. It's so sweet that mm -hmm. it's happening and it's just like so yeah. good. Okay, here starts the process. Fucker. This is one of those mornings when you go to make a PB and J. You have to like pry apart the frozen bread only to scoop like frozen peanut butter. All right, this is usually the good boot. Let me try again. Oh, yes. I'm so psyched to like walk out to that sunshine here soon. My passion in life is skiing and I've directed everything in my life to skiing. I work part time, I work as a nurse not a doctor, so that I can ski. So I think of Alaska as sort of this place to really step into pushing my skiing to the next level. Eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, there. stop. Surface horse so hard to see once it's buried. Got a thicker crust? I've been a follower for a really long time and it's really easy for me to be in that position. But it's a whole different ball game when you're like out there on the end of the rope being like, I'm not sure if the snow bridge is gonna hold me. Like, do you have me back there? And it's a different mentality. It's like a different risk tolerance for me. It's different decision making because you are making those decisions. We did not like what we saw, South Southwest. So we're trying to tuck in to see something north mostly for baseline data, but if we like what we see, potentially getting the ski look below. Still in assessment phase, so just trying to cover our bases. The scale is so much bigger and hard to read coming from Utah and Colorado. Today, we finally had done our homework, had learned and gained insight from the last few days and familiarity and comfort to be able to step up into bigger terrain. So I was thinking there's kind of three options here. One is to like traverse across to this little V and it looks like it's a snow bridge we could keep our skis on. Yeah. I kind of like the idea that left one you pointed out of like a maybe it goes. 
assessing and when we're under it. And then if it's like, oh God. Then we can still just traverse over to the right. Yeah. Ooh, first run crossing. Yeah. We all have limited glaciated experience. So when you go into a situation where no one is an expert, it becomes more challenging. I mean, I've never crossed a brook run before. Yeah. It's just, do you see how steep it is? Totally. How are we supposed to get our belly plates on then? Should we maybe go and practice on a smaller, easier one to get down our system? Maybe. Nobody knew. Totally. And I was like, okay, like, let's try right. Oh, nope, I don't like it. Let's go left. Okay, nope, I don't really like it. Oh, okay, try right again, fell in. Okay, can, is left doable? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I was just so confused at that point. I was like, I, I don't know. It's okay to be scared because you're paying attention, but then there's the point where it's like that gut feeling of scared and then it's time to turn around. Because I really struggle with turning around as I'm sure most people do. And I want it to be a black and white thing as I'm learning as there is no black and white. It's a feeling and you sort of have to gain that trust and confidence in your feelings. Being in that remote of a setting was constantly on my mind and wondering if something was to go wrong, how we would actually deal with it when we can't get ourselves out of there. It really dictated what I maybe was up for doing for the day. It's hard when your passion is something that could kill you or kill the people who you love. And I'm just still coming back from an experience where I was in the mountains and I lost the person who I cared most about, and it was all a matter of mistakes we made. And it's a really hard thing to live with. Now knowing like the true reality of when things go wrong, what that means, whether it's a slip and you die or an avalanche and you're killed, but until you see it firsthand, it allowed me to live a life very free of any fear that allowed me to progress and challenge myself in the mountains in a way that now I don't have that freedom. Excited, today's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. Yes. <laughs> Nice. Way to go, way to work through that. Stepping. Oh! Woo! That was fun. Super good. I didn't even know I could dream of doing this type of thing as a kid. I continue to be more and more inspired by all these women who are just doing amazing things and so much more badass and so much more skilled. And I didn't have that person to look to that looked like me. Woo! Nice job. Almost to the top. All right. When you aren't seeing other people who look like you doing the things that you want to do, it makes it really hard to believe that you can do it. And I think had I had that, I could have believed at a much younger age that I could have done it. Nice work. That was a fun that was slide. Super fun. That I'm just working with some expedition hair here. <laughs> yep. This is uh, day seven. These types of adventures show your true self and like where your weaknesses and your strengths are. And I think for me, I have to be put in these challenging environments 
that are like remote or we're like having to do all the work to survive so I can see those qualities in myself. What's in store today? Going back the Shrund Run that shut us down a few days ago. We're hoping this line will actually hold some good snow, but first we have to cross the Shrund and then we have to make it up and then come down and cross the Shrund again. I think we, as a team, progressed a bunch. And I think it's pretty apparent the Shrun line was like such an obvious example where the first day we tried, we like thought we had it. And then they're like, get in it. And we're like, we don't have this, we need to turn around. And then being able to go back and overcome that lack of knowledge with thinking it through more and having a different perspective. All right, starting the crossing. It was cool to just like go in there with confidence and be like, this is how I'm gonna do it. This is our game plan, we can do this safely. All right. Nice job, Maddie. Better? Cheers. Yeah, nice Cheers. work. Yeah. Highlight of my day was seeing Lonnie who when we had flown in, I'm looking at Shruns and I'm like, oh my God, you have to air them. And she's like, you don't have to air them. I'm not airing, I'm jumping over a Bergeron. And in my mind, I'm like, no, you just gotta go for it. All right, Nick, Lonnie is dropping in five. There we go. I would like to paint you a face, sing you a voice, write you a story. I don't remember ski films very well, but I remember certain scenes, and I can't tell you anything else about the film, but I remember the scenes of the people working for the entire line. I think ultimately it was through all the challenges, taking it on from start to finish, and taking on more than just the skiing, but the whole base camp experience and expedition in this remote terrain, as well as just surviving this harsh Alaskan environment. And I think more than anything, we all came out of this trip knowing that we can push our limits. Yeah! On the bright side, I think we're gonna get the most light out of anyone in this region. Look at how far we can see. It's gonna be just <laughs> shit as I drop in too. For this trip, we wanted to be in the lead from start to finish. We found that it limited us in what we were able to ski, but ultimately, we grew so much more as skiers and as a team, and that's what we wanted to do, and that was our goal. And we came here, and we did it, and we learned, and we grew.